Welcome to Ubuntu ViewCast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the SSMTP, the Send Only Mail Daemon. Um, this is really a useful tool if you have a little network without a um, own hosted email server. So you can use your um, email provider's mail server to deliver notification emails, like if, for example, if you have Upwatch running that will uh, send a notification email about um, email uh, IP addresses that uh, all of a sudden show up on the network or if they get changed etc so all right let's get started right away so um, type in sudo apt-get install ssmtp and hit enter then uh, it will tell you that it will do changes and install SSMTP. So just uh, acknowledge that with yes and hit enter. So it's downloading and installing the SSMTP mail daemon. It should be done here in a second. There we go. And then the uh, two things we have to do is basically um, add it to um, configuration files. The first one is located under etc. Uh, SSMTP and then, then the file is called SSMTP, SSMTP.conf hit enter and then basically um, I like to go ahead and uh, common everything out so I can see the original entries and then underneath here I'm gonna uh, start doing my uh, personal configuration and we gonna start with the statement root um, equals and then we enter um, our uh, personal email address so everything that gets sent to root will get sent to your email address then the next one is the uh, directive mail hub and then here we enter our um, SMTP server from our um, email provider. In my case, it's the Google one. That is smtp.gmail.com. And then we enter the port 587. Google uses a um, certificate uh, encrypted um, communication. And then the next option is the uh, hostname directive. So enter hostname equals and then enter the full fully qualified domain name hostname and domain name on your uh, machine where SSMTP is installed and in my case is serious cx and hit enter and the next uh, directive is the out user that is our login basically our login name for our ascending mail server yeah, the one we use at our provider. And then my login name is uh, my email address. And then we use um, our pass for our password. And for security reasons, I encrypt the password right here. And then the next one is use start TLS and now we tell them okay use TLS or start TLS and then the next one is use TLS same thing we're gonna use that and then the last one is from line override and we say yes Okay, let's go over those uh, options here. Like I said earlier, the first one is um, all the root email addresses uh, will get redirected to our email address. The mail hub is our um, our uh, smart host, basically, yeah, our provider's email address and port. Then the last name, the next one is the host name. You can 
basically uh, skip this one if you like. Um, if it's not in the configuration file, the uh, SSMTP daemon will query the host name over the console. But I like to put it in here so it will speed up a little. Then the next one is the login information for our uh, smart host or password. And then uh, next two ones are uh, the option to enable the uh, TLS encryption for our mail for SMTP traffic. And the last one is from line override. That basically means that it will um, basically means that it will override the uh, yeah specify whether the from header of an email, if any, may override the default de domain name. By default, this option is no. So if you don't specify it in here, it will be not, will not doing it. But I like to do it so I can see. Um, what actually my sending um, host address is. All right, let's um, save that one right here. Yes, and then next one will be sudo etc ssmtp and uh, rev aliases and oops, I'm gonna enter the editor here. All right, and in this file, we go ahead and enter the following entry that is um, under all the uh, commenting in, in that uh, text file. So go all the way to the bottom and type in root colon your email address colon smtp.gmail.com, so in your case, your email provider, colon, and then the port number, and in my case, will be 587. All right, um, control X here, say yes, and save that file. And then when that is done, we can go ahead and give it a try. So the best thing to try that is just use um, echo and um, pipe some text through the mail X daemon. And I prepared a line here, just um, follow uh, that line hit enter and then you um, should receive a email to your inbox all right i hope you enjoyed that video that it helped you and if you like that video please rate that video on my youtube channel and also have a uh, look on my website www.ubuntuvideocast.com and i also added a new form on that website so if you have any um, problems any um, anything you like to to work on um, or have questions just post it in there in a, a respective um, category and I try to help out that way as well thank you very much and see you next time